Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look into a function in Flogarithms. So the idea of the function is that it provides lots of benefits for us. First of all, it provides abstraction. The abstraction means that you can, you can work on that particular uh, problem or the issue that you have and you encapsulate it into a set of code you give it a name and you don't have to worry about it. Okay, after you prove that it, it worked perfectly. Okay, so that's the abstraction. The second thing is it allow collaboration. If you have like multiple programmer working with uh, one big issue, right? We can break it down into a smaller uh, set of problems and then we can give tasks to different people to do different things. And because of the abstraction, uh, each each of the programmer would only need to understand what are the input, what are the output of different part of the program. All right. And lastly, which is one of the most important thing about a function is it, it allow reusability, meaning that you can recall it again and again, because you don't have to worry about repeating the code in your main logic. So let's see what are the function that we have here. It is a little silly function that I uh, show it just uh, for for this purpose, it's called add three. Okay, add three is a function that take any value from the caller, and it would uh, multiply that value by three. So that value that has been given by the caller, uh, I'm gonna call it n local. Okay, that's the variable name. It is an integer. And what happened to this variable? We're just gonna add. Oh, sorry, we're just going to multiply it by 3 and then reassign back to itself. And after that, the new value of the n local is going to be sent back to the caller. Okay, so keep that in keep this word in my caller. Okay, the caller. And back to the main logic. What do we have here? In the main logic, what we have is uh, one variable named a, another variable in public, okay, that, that, that is the meaning to this, in public and in local, okay, which I will explain later. Uh, the value variable A came from the user input this block, and the variable in public is going to be assigned by calling a function. Here is the caller, okay, right here. So what happened to the caller? So let me erase all the ink here first. Okay, now let's, uh, after cleaning the screen, what I'm going to do is this, uh, back to this caller thing, okay, right here. This, this is a caller, as I mentioned before. And basically what happened is that this, this assignment symbol is calling a function. Okay, you can see it, it's called add tree. This is a function name, which is a valid function name. We have it here. So what happened is that, Whatever the value that you have in the variable a, let's suppose that the value is number four. Okay, the value in here gonna be sent to this value right here. Okay, the value is sent, not the variable itself. Okay, we are assigning the value. So basically what happened is this, in local equal to a right here okay n local equal to a whatever the value in the a it's going to be assigned to n local so now n local is also four right what happened is that uh, once we go to the next line we are going to multiply by three and then we return that value which is 12. okay so uh, once that happened the returning value n local here is going to be set to this thing, this whole thing, okay? So add three, sending the value A, we're gonna have the value returning as this value, okay, that is returning here, okay? In local gonna be returning to a uh, add three A, which later gonna be assigned to public N here, okay? And then we print it out. So pretty much what we have is number to well print it out here. Now let's back to this naming that I did just now. 
So we have the, we have the, uh, let me clean up the screen one more time. Okay, so we have, we have, uh, we have, oops, we have n public here, we have n local here. And these two, even though they might be working with something similar, right? A send the value here, and then n local, and n local has been assigned back to n public here. Keep in mind that these are two separate locations, meaning that they do not know each other. And the only way that we can send the value from one to another location is through, uh, through the calling, which is this line, or sending return back by this line. Okay, that's the only way. Which means you can never use n local in the main area. You can never use n public or a in the function area. Okay, so let's head to the flow algorithm so I can prove that uh, in the program for you guys. All right, so now we are in the real program, so algorithm. Let's check some part of this program. This is the main logic. We have two variables, A and N public. We take A from the user, and then we make a call to the function, and then we assign uh, the returning value to N public, and then we print it out. All right, and what's in the function? Add three here. Function has only some more part here. Let me. You double click here, you get into this uh, dialog box. The name is function add three. It has one variable named n local, and it returned that same variable back to the caller. So let's try this function back to the main. I'm gonna do steps, all right? So you can see it clearly what happened. We declare the variables to the main, okay? Uh, A and n public uninitialized. And then next, we take the input from the user. I'm going to say 4, enter. And next, it is going to call the function A3. So if we go next, we jump to the function area. And then we jump right into the body of the function, which has only one line. N local equal to N local times 3. And N local has been assigned to 4. Okay, uh, sending by value from the caller, which is that line from, uh, from the main program. So what happened is, it is going to return this value after the calculation. It's equal to 12 here, and it will return it back to the caller. All right, which is, we're back at the same line, right? We're back at this line, which is the caller. And now in public, we don't know what it is, but the value that's going to be sent back is number 12. Right? So we get number 12, and we are about to get the output of n public, which is now assigned to 12. And then we are done. Okay, we are done. Now, let me demonstrate the meaning of public and uh, local. So this is n public from the main line. Okay, let me jump to uh, the add tree here and let's try this the only value that this function knows is in local so you can never do this you can never try in in public which came from outside right it's unknown and we never assign it so if you try to print this out the only thing that's going to happen if you're going to get error Okay, the value n public was not declared, so you get the error. I'm going to take it out. Now I'm showing that you cannot use any public variable inside the local area if it has not been sent into the function properly. Now back to the main line. Same thing here. Okay, you never assign n local here. Okay, so nobody really know what's going on. Okay, nobody really know what's going on. You cannot, you cannot do this in public, uh, in, you cannot do in public and local like this. Okay, so let's try what happened. Same thing, right? Variable in local was not declared. Now, this is very explicit, but there are times that you would like to use the same name in the public and and the local area okay well 
we don't really call it public, we call it global. Okay. So sometimes you want to do this. N. Okay, you want to use N alone. I'm going to have to change this to N as well. And I'm going to change this to just N. Alright, this one is correct. We use N, right? And we use N in here as well. Okay, we also use N in here. I'm going to change this to N. And change this one to N as well because it's the same name. We're going to use one name here. And then the last thing, I'm going to change this N equal to N. Oops, sorry, this one is N equal to N times 3. All right. Keep in mind that this N here that you have in the main area and the N that you have in the add 3 function, they're not the same N. Okay. So it, even though everything would work perfectly, everything would work just like before right you get 12 as a result keep in mind the n in the local and the n in the global area are not the same n okay so don't get confused about that this is uh this is about the scope of the variables all right i hope this helped until next time